over from Scott yet? Nope. It's midnight here, so what time is it there? Three. Three. And he hasn't called you back to say goodnight or anything? Nope. Shady. Should I call him? Courtney, it's your boyfriend, duh, call him. Scott has been in New York now for almost over a day and I haven't heard from him. I just hate when he goes to New York. Hello? Hi. Hi, remember me? You're supposed to call me to say goodnight. It's like a rule. Did I call you? No, you didn't, you didn't call me. I've been sitting here with Chloe. I haven't gotten any phone what calls. What are you doing in here? Oh my God, he just hung up on me. Bible, was that Chloe, a girl's I just heard voice? a girl's voice. Bible, that was a call girl's voice. Call him back. Bible, he just hung up on me right when the girl started Courtney, talking. call him back. Obviously, he's being shady as f That's why I even he heard from him. He just pretended to be asleep, and then the No, Bible. he's in bed with a girl. She said, what are you doing in here? So call him back and say, who the f is at your house? Hello? You hung up. I didn't hang up on you. Are you f kidding me? Are you kidding me? Why would I hang up on you? I'm not an idiot. I just heard a girl speaking in the background. So did Chloe. Just hang up on him. He just hung up on me. Chloe. Chloe. What? Scott's calling me. No. Do, do I answer? Yes. Answer the phone. Why? Oh, see what okay, I Did you have fun with your girl last night? I told you I had people over. That's not what it looks like. I was not a girl. Okay, so that's your explanation? Oh, I mean, the people fell asleep on my couch, my guest room, and unfortunately the girl was drunk and just went into my room and passed out. I didn't ask her to, but I also so, didn't say, hey, wake up and get the f out of here. I didn't even think about it. Who's this girl? She has a boyfriend yourself. But you shouldn't even be letting her feel comfortable enough to get into your room. To so you go and in your room and get into your bed? For like 10 years? kind of like a little sister to me. I never remotely would even dream of hooking up with another girl. You know that. And I love you, you can't understand that. After I hear Scott's explanation, I don't want to be stupid, but I believe him for some reason. I just really need to think this through. All right. All right. Okay, bye. Bye. You don't think for a second anything about that conversation was honest, right? I don't know. I have to think about it. You have to think about what? What do you have to, to think, think about? think about it. Scott has conned his way back into Courtney's life and Courtney is totally like, I have to think about it. What do you have to think about? He just said he was in bed with another girl. He said that. I just am thinking it through. I don't For just... what? For what? For myself. Hey, Corp. I'm just in the worst mood. Why? What's wrong? Because I've been fighting with my sisters and... Shocking. They just don't get it. Like, I had a fight with Scott and they're just so, like, harsh and hard on me and, like... Don't you think it's interesting that everybody is so quick to judge Scott every time something happens? So there must be something that... Look at my instincts the very first time you brought Scott home. Mm -hmm. Remember that night when we had that barbecue? Do you think he's ready for a monogamous relationship? I don't think Scott cheats on Chris, me. Chris, how could you even say that? And if he did, I'm that's between so him and I. I'm watching. <laughs> okay, but you were wrong about the situation. Like the whole texting incident, you know, mm -hmm. when he was texting other girls, my wife. He has a text cool. message from somebody called my wife, and it says, I loved looking into your eyes last <gasps> night. When he's with me, he's, he's fine and amazing, and when he's not with me is whenever we have problems. And that's not, that's not so good. Well, he's a Just Gemini. Because I don't care if he's an alien. It doesn't matter to me what he is. If you feel like you have to babysit somebody or have to worry when he goes out of town or is out of your sight for two hours, that's the wrong guy. I want you to find that person where you just know in your heart, this is the one. Yeah. And you're not there yet. God gives us one life. Don't waste it on a loser. My sisters are forcing me to go to this therapist and I really, really don't want to go. I haven't visited a therapist since my parents' divorce when I was 11 years old and the experience was traumatizing. Hi, you must be Courtney. Hi. Hi, Courtney, I'm Dr. Marshall. How are you? Good, how are you? Nice it's nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Come on in. Thanks. 
So tell me what brings you here. So my sisters made me come here. What are they concerned about? They just, I just don't think they like my boyfriend. You want to tell me about him? He has a place in New York and he lives with me here. When he goes home, I think he's like, always seems to be a little shady. Every time he goes, like I get anxious and I'm like, what, what do you mean by shady? I guess that's what I'm curious shady about. Shady is What's just shady? like, I for sure will, you know, think things like, you know, what if he's off with this person or that person? I don't know, but it's like you really don't know. I, it's almost like he's like a caged animal or something when he's here. In Calabasas, it's probably more boring. So I feel like when he gets to New York, he's like excited to go out and party. So what you're doing is you're making an excuse for him. You're saying your life here is boring, so it's natural that the hinges come off the doors. Why would you want to be with someone who finds you boring? Yeah, that's true. It doesn't matter really what the reason is that he goes out of control in New York. What should matter is that he's not doing what he needs to do in order to be with you. I know that I need to end this once and for all, and I'm really anxious about doing so. Yeah. We talked on the phone for over five hours and just went through every little detail about why we really shouldn't be together. I mean, I do love you. That's obviously not the problem. Our relationship was not good the way that it was, and I think that we both agreed on that in the end. here for the Range Rover. Oh, okay, hold on one second. Sure. For this all was got to be fully done, I just take it upon myself to get all of his stuff out of my house, ship it off to New York. Scott's car is like the final thing to go. I'm sad, but also feel like a weight lifted off of me at the same time. <laughs> 